Gaga over Baba. Why Mahavatar Babaji is badly needed at the workplace more than ever today. 25th July is a day of great celebration for Babaji's fans all over the world. His fans are in millions, starting from the Beatles to film stars, businessmen, politicians, spiritual seekers, sportsperson, you name it. The whole world is looking for Babaji. Why? Ever since Paramhansa Yogananda wrote about Babaji in Autobiography of a Yogi way back in 1946, the whole world started looking for Babaji. Babaji became a cult figure. He captured everyone's imagination. Babaji is famous as an ageless Himalayan master. He has lived for thousands of years. He never appears before the public. He guides messiahs and prophets in their mission to redeem humanity. He can perform the greatest miracles. His spiritual achievements are peerless. So why on earth would the workplace need an ageless, faceless, elusive Himalayan master who never appears before the public? The reason should not surprise us. Today, when the whole world is in lockdown and nature is unleashing its fury, when mankind is under severe mental and emotional stress, when the future appears dark and uncertain, Babaji's magic touch is really needed at the workplace. Babaji represents the truest commitment. Once, after thousands of years of serving the world, Babaji wanted to quit and leave the planet. Maybe he was plain tired of dealing with us humans and all the selfishness, greed and aggression we never seem to be rid of. But Babaji's sister Mataji stopped him from leaving. She said the world needed him. Babaji immediately agreed. He withdrew his decision to quit. He put the welfare of the world before his own need for rest and relaxation. It needs an extraordinary person to put service before self. place needs more people with Babaji's kind of commitment. Big businesses fail, thousands lose jobs. Why? Because employers and employees do not show enough commitment to each other. Each one thinks, what can I get from the other? No one thinks, what can I do for the other? Employers hire and fire people. Employees leave at the slightest provocation. Each one operates from a place of arrogance and ego. No one is thinking. What about the company? Employers should not be focused only on profits and revenues. Protecting livelihoods and creating happiness should be the main motto of any organization. Profits will automatically flow in the long run. Both sides need to protect the tree of the company to enjoy its fruits. If the employer and employee think of collective happiness rather than selfish individual happiness, then peace and harmony will prevail and so many livelihoods can be saved. Babaji represents the truest compassion. On 25th July 1920, Babaji appeared before Paramhansa Yogananda in his Calcutta home. He asked him to carry India's message of Kriya Yoga and the yogic way of life to the West. He said, the cries of suffering humanity kept coming to him. Initially, Yoganandaji was skeptical. Why would the words of a strange Hindu monk be heard in the West? But on Babaji's urging, he agreed. That became such a turning point for humanity. Don't you think the workplace needs more people with compassion like Babaji? When we come to work on a daily basis, we often work like machines. We do not analyze how our work can be of service to others, how it can make the lives of others better. Lack of compassion is a major reason why we do not feel motivated to perform. It is famously said in autobiography that whoever remembers Babaji with love attracts an immediate blessing. The author experienced this once when she was lost in the Himalayas. In the dark of night, a man in a llama cap suddenly appeared and led her to safety. Countless people in the world have experienced Babaji's miracle of love. 
The workplace requires both employers and employees to demonstrate loving hearts. Why don't people love each other? Why can't we love our co-workers? Why do we mindlessly compete? Why do we mindlessly compare? Babaji loves the whole world and works for all, irrespective of nationality, color, caste, creed, and social status. Why do we experience anxiety, stress, and unhappiness at the workplace? Simply put, because we avoid doing our dharma. A lack of work ethics, loyalty, gratitude, cooperation, and selfishness can severely affect our well-being in the long run. When we don't follow dharma, it causes dis-ease. Baba Ji says, even a little bit of this dharma will save us from dire fears and colossal sufferings. He says, a person who faithfully discharges his responsibilities without personal motive or attachment treads the sure path of enlightenment. Baba Ji reminds us that we are always searching for that something else which will make us happy. A little more money, a little more power, a little more position and we are sure to be happier. Then why aren't we? We have fallen into the trap set by Maya. Ignoring our mental peace, we are chasing that something else. We are becoming slaves to Maya, compromising our true happiness by participating in the rat race. Babaji travels the world with a small band of disciples serving humanity. They don't have money, a house, they don't have a fancy car or eat gourmet food. But they have a wealth of peace, contentment, good health and freedom from Maya. Oh, that delusion which is the root cause of all suffering. What does Babaji's great example tell us? That when the benchmark shifts away from human values to material things, position, money, power, then we are moving away from the center of peace and good health. Employers are often influenced by employees who are outwardly smart, sophisticated and smooth talking. Often they ignore the sincere, loyal and committed employees. Employees are often influenced by other companies which have outward glamour and pomp. They move away from committed and caring companies only to find themselves caught in a whirlpool of misery and stress. But the fact that the world is gaga over Baba reinforces the fact that deep in our hearts we know for sure that it is not the outward glamour of money power position but the values of commitment, loyalty, compassion and love which should influence our decisions. May the love we feel for Babaji make us more like him. May we learn to give before we learn to take. May we put service before self. May there be peace, harmony and cooperation at the workplace.